Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. The name is Chev, also known as the Furious Chicken, and I'm so glad you're back because today I want to talk about changing your Hive blockchain keys. Aside from that, I want to give my thoughts as well as to some of these posts I'm seeing in my socials where people are buying second-hand Hive blockchain accounts. Alright, let's begin. Now, I already made a video about this in the past, but there were some changes in the interface of the website where we changed the password, so I'm making this video to follow up. First off, what you have to do to reset your Hive blockchain keys is to go to this website that's called peakd.com. Peakd, that is how it's spelled. I'm going to link it in the description box just in case, but... Once you log into, once you get to the PeakD website, you have to log in using your Hive blockchain keys, of course. Once you're logged in, you will see your username here. Mine's QuickDrawChev. So you just click it, and then normally you would think about. Well, let me remove myself from the photo. So there we go. So normally you would think about going to the PeakD settings, right? Because normally you change the password through the settings, but no, that's not how you do it here. Uh, from now on, you have to click on the My Blog tab. Once you get there, it'll get, get you to, well, essentially the same page as to what we saw earlier. But um, what you have to do next is to click this Account Actions, and then scroll down a bit and look for Keys and Permissions. Okay? Once you click that, you will get it will take you to this page where the settings are. Uh, go to Change Password. Now, you're going to need a key here, not just the login key or posting key that you used to get to the site, but you need the owner key to reset your password. Now, there are a few disclaimers here, so you have to keep this in mind and then agree to it first before you can put in your key, something like that, and then generate a new password. Now, once the site generates that new password for you, it will give you a sample key. Okay, this is a sample key for your account. Uh, once you, uh, you accept this, you click this box and update the keys, it will kick you out of the account. You would have to re-log back in using the new keys. So it is imperative that you listen to this big red box here. Restore your new keys before confirming the operation. Okay? That's super important. Now, these aren't my new keys even though I did try to generate them because I put in a bogus um, owner key. And if ever you try to restore the account password and update it using a bogus key, even if you click update the keys, it won't work. Okay, it will just tell you that your keys are incorrect. Okay, but that's how it goes. Once that's done, um, it will log you out and then re-log back in. Make sure that you save your new keys maybe on your Gmail account or a notepad. So you already you always have those OG copies in hand. Now, um, the other point I want to talk about earlier is I've been seeing a lot of posts, especially in my socials, Facebook and stuff, uh, that people are buying secondhand keys. Um, what I mean is that, for example, you're playing Splinterlands, right? And you pay $510 to create an account and then they will give you in turn a Hive blockchain key so you can play the game. Now, um, if you buy a second hand account with these keys, yes, you can do the same process and reset the password like what I just did. Maybe they'll even send you a link of my video teaching you step by step on how to change the keys. But, but that won't always work. guys. I mean, it will work. Yes, you will be able to reset the password, but it is not secure. Because as long as they have access to the email address associated with that Hive blockchain key, they can still request for the key that is currently associated with your account even after you reset. Okay, let me repeat that. I want to re reiterate this because it's super important. Even if you reset the key using this process I just taught you right now, as long as the original owner of the account has access to the email address, they can request for your new keys that you just reset directly from the website and it will be sent to their email address. So if you are buying a secondhand account, please, please buy not just the keys but the email address as well. Even if they buy it, even if they sell it to you for super cheap, 
there's a reason. Most likely, you're gonna reset the keys after a few days and you won't have access to it anymore. What is more unfortunate is that if you're using that as like your secondary or even main account and then you put in some assets into it, you wouldn't have access to it anymore and since you reset the key, they will be able to send the asset to their real account and then maybe resell the account again to another person and try to scam another one, okay? Keep that in mind. I think that's everything that I really, really need to say about this process. Just to give you a quick recap, for you to reset the password, um, you'll have to go to peakd.com, that's the website, and then log in using your posting key. You need the owner key to reset the password from the settings. And then if ever you're gonna buy a second a second hand um, account, ask for the email as well. Okay, all right, we're good. My name is Chev, also known as the Furious Chicken, and I will be back with another one real soon. Bye.